I'm excited. Father, servant has informed me that my l friend is here. Oh, I am so grateful to have him as our family friend. Indeed. May I invite him to the ballroom? We must practice dancing for my birthday ball. Yes, father. He will teach me how to present myself for my potential marriage candidate. Have no worries, please. He is an excellent teacher. No, father. I do not need musicians today. I prefer to learn in silence. Yes, yes. Goodbye, father. Oh, my lord. Welcome, sir. Have you been here since I started speaking with my father? Oh, I apologize. I didn't um, notice. <laughs> um, my father has allowed us to practice alone in the ballroom. Do you wish tea or coffee before our dance lesson? Oh, nothing. Well then, I will ask for water to be prepared for us. Please, find your way to the ballroom. Oh, do not be absurd, sir. Of course the servant will show you the way. I will join you in a matter of time. Joseph, please lead our dear guest to the room. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Gilbert. You may rest now. Your presence is not needed here. <sighs> I'll break your character already. <laughs> we are alone. <laughs> oh, come on. Join me, please. <laughs> Each time you come here, you must leave the seriousness outside the door. I am so tired of pretending to be perfect, but with you, I can be truly myself. You do not seem to care about how well-groomed and dressed I am. You see me for me. And, and you are very masculine all the time. But when you are with me, you soften your gaze and body. Relax. You let your guard down. <laughs> I love how childlike you are around me. I adore every gesture of yours. The way you look at me at the balls. When you are around me, you seem like you do not see anyone else except me. Play a piano for me, please. I do not want anyone to come here today except you. So play for me, please. <laughs> you do it the best. Oh, I melt whenever I see your fingers creasing the piano with such grace and harmony. I love how your face mimics the emotions of the melody you play. Beautiful. You are beautiful. I am very upset that you cannot be mine. Oh. Hey. You are aware that no matter how good you are and how close you will get to my father, he is not going to allow you to marry me. My heart is shattered that you cannot be all mine. I cry myself to sleep every night. I do not want an arranged marriage. I want you. Oh, I do not understand why two people in love cannot be simply together. Why do we have to care about possessions, reputation and influences? <gasps> what if we escaped? Far away from the limitations. Oh, and... Oh, okay. I know that is silly of me to think that. 
But if we want to be truly happy, we have no other option. Hmm, I do not know that. Perhaps there is a possibility that my father will accept you as my lover. Yeah, I think it's impossible. I think you are expected to carry the mountains in order to be my husband. Or you have to do something brave. Or simply make a fortune. So my father will see some interest and opportunity to gain something. <sighs> But I don't understand this. You are very wealthy. Uh, I don't get it. Why is it so complicated? Sir. Sir, we cannot be seen together. People will talk. You are scaring my candidates away. What are you doing? You cannot invite me to the dance. What? My... My father has approved of you? <clears throat> yes. I may dance with you, sir. I do not know how you managed to do it, but I am grateful I can finally be yours without hiding my love for you. You don't know how hard it was to keep my eyes on you this whole time. You look amazing. How is it possible that you convinced my father? <laughs> I don't understand it. I will marry you. Oh, I love you, darling. I cannot believe that you did everything for us to be together. You are so brave. I could not be more proud to have you as my husband. I love you very, very much. <laughs>